Life can be a tough journey filled with ups and downs. And depending on our emotional state, it can be quite difficult to comprehend and know the presence and the comfort of Jesus with us. So today we're going to be thinking about how Jesus appeared and comforted his disciples when they were really, really disappointed. After his resurrection, Jesus appeared to his disciples many times. One of these incidences was when he appeared to two of his followers, one of whom was Cleopas. The disciples were on their way to Emmaus. This account can be found in Luke chapter 24. You might like to read it before or after this reflection. After Jesus' death, the disciples were naturally very disappointed. The women who went to Jesus' tomb found the tomb empty. And even though the disciples had been told that the tomb was empty, they clearly had not registered that Jesus had risen from the dead. We understand from their words that they were really disappointed. Jesus joined the two on their journey to Emmaus and started walking with them. However, they did not recognize Jesus. When Jesus asked what had happened, this is what they said to him. Jesus of Nazareth was a prophet, powerful in word and deed before God and all the people. The chief priests and our rulers handed him over to be sentenced to death, and they crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. And what is more, it is the third day since all this took place. In addition, some of our women amazed us. They went to the tomb early this morning, but didn't find his body. They came and told us that they had seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. Then some of our companions went to the tomb and found it was just as the women had said, but they did not see Jesus. The two followers of Jesus said they had hoped that he would have redeemed Israel. They didn't say he had redeemed Israel. They were clearly unaware of the resurrection power of the cross. Their hopes were shattered. They thought Jesus was the saviour Israel had been waiting for, but after the crucifixion, they felt lost. Interesting that although resurrection had taken place, they were still focusing on Jesus' death. When we are disappointed and our dreams are shattered, and when maybe what we thought was a way of life or a big part of our plans and hopes for the future are completely turned upside down, it can be very difficult to see Jesus' resurrection power. The tendency is often to think of the worst and focus on what hasn't happened. How our expectations and dreams remain unfulfilled. Cleopas and his mate also thought about hopes unfulfilled because Jesus had died. And even then, Jesus continued to walk with them. He did not need them to know that he was there. He did not need their acknowledgement or appreciation, but he continued to walk with them. He stayed by their side. Jesus must have given them comfort because later on, when they approached their village, they asked if he would stay the night with them. At the time, they still didn't know who Jesus was. Here is what happened when they sat at the table together. Luke chapter 24, verses 30 to 32. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were opened and they recognized him and he disappeared from their sight. They asked each other, were not our hearts burning within us 
while he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us. On the road, in their disappointment, Cleopas and his friend poured out their hearts to Jesus. As they did this, they got closer to him. Then they had the opportunity to commune with him. Their eyes were opened. They became spiritually aware and what had been their disappointment turned into a divine appointment with Jesus. Jesus never stops walking with us, even when we are disappointed. If we persevere and continue on our journey with Jesus, despite our circumstances and emotional state, we will witness his presence and resurrection power and this resurrection power will turn our situations around. Let's pray. Father, we lay before you all our disappointments. We thank you that Jesus has taken them all to the cross for us. We choose to let go of them. We choose to trust you. Send your Holy Spirit to us that we might have a divine appointment with Jesus, our Saviour, that we might have this divine appointment with our Saviour in exchange for our disappointments that have already been nailed to the cross. In Jesus' name. <music>